Hi, in this video I'll be showing you how to break out of an infinity loop in Unity. I'm recording using a laptop so the audio might not be the best, but um, let's say you had a do while loop and you were stuck, save that, and it kind of crashes your editor. Let's see. Alright, so that happens. That just broke the uh, that just broke the editor. It, nothing you do is gonna move right now. And all you have to do is go back to Visual Studio and go to Debug, Attach to Process, and look for Unity here. Attach to Unity. Alright. So you'll need a few windows and you need to open up your deep, go to debug windows. You need your autos window. It's usually already there, bottom left. You need your threads and you need a call stack and also a disassembly window. Okay. So once you have all those opened, go back to debug and break all. Okay and we want to be on the main thread so if you don't see that uh, around here to select just go to drop down you could double click on this or go to this drop down my laptop's a bit soft main thread alright so you just have that focus in your main thread then go to your call stack and go down if you don't see these numbers showing up right here go to make sure you show external code is checked usually you get something like that so show external code any day now okay I usually go to the first uh, first call stack with leading zeros and that's this one here right click and run to cursor Okay, and now you have that stack showing up in the disassembly window. First, you need to look for CMP. It has to be CMP, DWAR, PTR, R110. It's scattered all around this code, so you could go up or down and find it. And you could find in just any one of them. And right click and run to cursor here. So once you once you have that, just go to the R11 name, double click on it, change that value to zero. Any day now, okay? Change it to zero. Hit enter. Go back to your disassembly window and just hit F5 on your keyboard. It's going to throw an exception. That's good. Just close that. Alright, and hit F5 again to continue. And it should. It should throw an exception in Unity, and you're able to hit play uh, to stop like you would normally do. So that's really helpful if you didn't save your work or stuff like that. So hope this helps you out. Sorry about the bad idea too. Thanks for watching. Bye.